Hey, some time has passed. Cause check this out. The uh the tape was filled. Cause yeah, I had taped some of that jazz festival that I went to, what was that last weekend? It was on the flip. And then plus it had, you know, I don't know, y'all was having some technical difficulties too earlier this month, too. Another thing that was prohibiting me from uploading this because my Norton need for one thing, my Norton need to be updated. Okay, then, okay, then what happened? Okay, my Norton, then it was saying something about plugins ain't working right. Because when I, when I tried to uh, do my, my flip, do my flip thing, it wouldn't open up right. It was like something was going on. So, um, I was having all kind of te technical difficulties, but my son got me back up and running and, and going. Um, so, you see I'm back in the mix, but anyway. Uh, where was I at? I forgot where I was because I was getting ready to really get on a roll and You know what I'm saying and the shit went kapooey. So um, I don't forgot really where I was but you know, I guess I'm just gonna start off where wherever Anyway, I know I was talking about um, my little cousin's graduation and uh, My little cousins, excuse me graduation and mind you the uh, her other daughter is also getting married this September. So not only did she graduate with her master's, but she's also engaged to be married. So I'm just, oh my God. And these is young ladies. I'm talking about like in their 20s, okay? And so to see, you know, I remember when my cousin was pregnant with them, you know? And, you know, back in the day, we were all CNAs together. And, you know, I was the first one to get uh, my nursing degree. And then I was telling them, you know, you know, I mean, we doing this, you know what I'm saying? We wiping asses and hiding behind motherfucking curtains and in bathrooms and shit. But we're going to have to do more than this right here because the LVNs and the RNs are sitting at the motherfucking nurse's station chilling and kicking and eating and shit and talking about call light, room, whoop, whoop. Now, we're going to have to do more than this right here because they, we just sitting up here bullshit. So I was the first one that went and did that. And when I did that, I became all my cousins' charge nurses. So, we all just all bum rushed one job. I was the knock charge nurse. All my cousins was my CNAs. And baby, when I tell you we was up there clowning, I can't even give no names of the spots or none of that type of shit. But check this out. <clears throat> Potluck, doing weaves and braiding. We was getting our patient care. Uh, patient care was on 10, okay? Because we all knew what the fuck we was doing, Okay. But they was in school getting their um, nursing degree. I was all, I had already completed mine and was working, so I was a charge nurse. So, of course, I'm flexible with them. And plus, we was all doing knock shit because we had, well, you know, I didn't have too many babies. I had Anthony. Did I have Tioni? I think I had Tioni at the time. Did I have Bud? Maybe I had Bud and I don't remember. But anyway, but so that lets you know how I look the time it, it's been. But since then, now... All my cousins are all nurses, and now their kids, their daughters, is now going, went off to college, and now bachelors and mastered up in the game, okay? So, you know, us as the mamas, we like, damn, you know, they surpassing our motherfucking ass, which that's what we want them to do anyway. Like, I want you to have more than me, like with my daughter, you know, she's looking into colleges and shit. And uh, I wanted to have more than me. Yeah, this is your shit. This is, you know, this is the nucleus. This is where you can always come back to. This is the hub, the central station, all that old type of shit. Your friends can always come. Miss Tina, we trying to find Tiani, blah, 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 yada, yada. You know, you can come over here and it's going to always be that. So this is what it is. But still, I want them, you know, my daughter now, because my son is, you know, his, his you know, he's, he's in a career situation where he's straight, he's good. Now I'm working on my daughter and she wants to go off to college and stay in the dorms and do all that kind of shit. So now I'm getting her mind right to be able, because fuck around with me, nigga. I'm looking for the nor plant to put in your ass, okay? I'm looking to get your motherfucking ass some IUD or something. Because you ain't finna come back on Christmas break, come talk about mama, I got something to tell you. See, I ain't gonna be able, I ain't gonna be able to handle that, okay? I ain't gonna be able to do it. So, we looking into a little Nor plant. I know it's a different name and shit now, but we looking into some five, ten year shits. Okay? Because we don't need not now motherfucking slip up because you ain't ready for all that shit yet. Enjoy all this shit and go through your little journey and all this shit and enjoy and taste, see, do, try everything. 
within reason. Keep it respectful of 100. Baby, you winning. Stay in your truth. So now I'm working on mine. My baby's still a baby. But now I'm looking at my nieces and my cousins, kids and shit like that. Mastered and bachelored up. Yeah, I'm ready for my daughter to be one of them as well. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of excited and glad about that. But, uh, y'all, listen, I had a beautiful weekend, man. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I was talking about I came on and I did the, the little video or whatever about my little outfit or whatever. Waistline was high, no problem. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping on none of that motherfucking shit, baby. My, my motherfucking legs don't touch together. Motherfucking waistline is sick out the game. Um, booty lifted. Uh, all this right here ain't nothing do doing this all right. Man, I'm cool. Like I was saying before, I ain't out here trying to make no money with this right here. I'm for, I'll be 45 years old in less than 90 days. You know what I'm saying? So a motherfucker like me, for what I'm working with, I'm cool. I have a man that loves me. I'm in love. I'm happy as a motherfucker. I, I'm able to go about this bitch as I shall please to do with a little bit of my motherfucking money. I got a cool-ass little residual income. I, my, my marriage gave me a pension. Bitch, what else do you want? What else? You know what I'm saying? And then plus my kids are excelling and doing all that. That little trivial bullshit, oh, your ass, this, 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 baby, that's some bullshit, okay? Because I ain't one of them. I ain't trying to make no money with this right here, baby. I'm trying to be healthy. I'm trying to be able to move about this motherfucker comfortably without sweating and tired and breathing hard and huffing and puffing and apnea out the game. I don't want none of that shit for me. I'm trying to rid myself from having, you know, all these disease processes that debilitate my motherfucking ass and allow just taking me away from greatness. I ain't trying to be on none of that motherfucker. Baby, this is what it is. Fuck it. Okay? This is what's happening. If this ain't what time it is, look, hey, I ain't worried about it. And my dude ain't mad at it either. Pfft, baby, hey, look here. Check this out, boo. You didn't make me mad. Oh, uh, you didn't make me mad, boo-boo. How could you make me mad if you don't check that motherfucking right here? Huh? How you gonna make me mad? Look, check this out. <clears throat> I set out. To lose this weight and to conquer that. Okay? I've been fat all my motherfucking life. Okay? I set out to turn that motherfucking shit around after I began to live my life for myself. After I began to stop sharing my body with my children. I done raised that. I done breastfed. I done vaginal birth. I done done all that old type of motherfucking shit. Now it's time. I'm no longer going to have any more babies. Now you get to a certain age and it's like, you know what, now I'm going to start living for my motherfucking ass. This nigga, can, can you make your peanut butter and jelly sandwich? No problem. Okay. Can you warm this shit up without an issue? Okay, no problem. Can you cook a full course motherfucking meal if I'm not here? No problem. Do you know what we pay the lights, gas, and house payment and all that? You know where that's at? Okay, no problem. You got your full-time job, son? No problem. You 19? Handle this right here. I'm here, but I'm in my room. I'm in my bourgeois. If you need me, come holler at me. But until then, nigga, you know how to handle this right here. And everybody is on some responsible shit in my tilt. Know that, okay? So what the fuck else am I supposed to be really doing? Really? I don't have no motherfucking enhancements. I ain't got no, I ain't got no, ain't not now silicone and none of this motherfucking thing here I got. You understand me? This is what God gave me. I ain't no extra twists on it, okay? I had some extra skin removed. I had to have that because a bitch was a sharp pay up under all this motherfucking shit. Nigga, I was spanked out the game. I had to wear so much shit tied up under my motherfucking clothes. Nigga, I was hot for a get started. You know what I'm saying? I was doing the motherfucking sister big bones out of breath like a motherfucker. Hot up under that shit. Shit tied up, lifted up. All this, man. Fuck all that. When I got to a point where I was like, okay... Now, I done also rid myself of this 238-pound motherfucker knuckle. Once I got rid of that, and I was like, okay, now let me also continue to keep losing this weight, becoming a little bit more spiritually driven, be more grounded and stable mentally. Then, and only then, when the rest of the weight begin to shed itself off, Check this out. I'm 188 pounds today. Okay? Motherfucker was down 175, 76, 77. Now I'm 180 something. I don't give a fuck really. You know what I'm saying? My ultimate goal was to be 200. My ultimate goal really was to be able to see my motherfucking pussy when I pee. So to get to this right here, a nigga I could see everything and everything where it's supposed to motherfucking be. Okay, that's pussy. That's this. Okay. 
Ain't no fupa and all that. What they call that fuba? Uh, whatever. Upper pussy. Motherfucking what? None of that. And I'm able to see where all this shit connect that. No problem. Motherfucking titties sit up like they need to. You know what I mean? What the fuck else can I, can I be mad at? Honestly, if you have a residual income, like I said before, if you have a residual income, what are you really supposed to be looking like? Now, I know a lot of people's up in the airs, Nene Leaks, and went and got those jobs, and this right here, and all this whole kind of shit right here. Motherfuckers is like she lightened up, or whatever. However, everybody is all up in the airs about Wendy and all these motherfuckers on what they looking like nowadays. But if you had the money, if you had the residual income, what the fuck would you be looking like? Real shit. Because when you got a residual income, okay, now all of this right here is handled, but now I need to get my 57 on deck. All of this is handled. Now I need to go and get this tummy tuck after I done had 50 11. You know what I'm saying? Chilling. Now it's time for me to get this together. How would you be looking if you had the residual income? Before you turn around and get to getting mad at motherfuckers and, and, and you know, and all this, all this hate and shit, you need to really be looking at, okay, well, what would I be doing if I really had it? If I had it, what would I do? Just like with me, motherfuckers might want to say I'm loose, I'm this and that, fast, whatever. I ain't none of that motherfucking shit, and I'm not gonna, do, I'm not gonna defuse it. You can say whatever you want to. You know what I'm saying? Allow my motherfucking shit once again to speak for itself. Allow my children, allow my space, my time, and my place right now to speak for itself. Fuck the rest of that bullshit, cause that's just some bullshit swirling around. You know, like when I when I was at the um jazz festival the other week, young lady said, "Oh well, you know, um, you don't want them to be putting you on alley." What? I don't give a fuck about no motherfucking alley. The alley bring a gang of motherfuckers over here to come see about me in the first motherfucking place. So when she said it low key, I was like, is you one of these motherfuckers that's posting over there? I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm just trying to say, because ain't too many people really hit me with that. But, you know, like I was telling y'all, or what had I, I at the jazz festival, I'm going to post the videos or whatever. But my feet were hurting. Was I walking like I was stepping on cracks and rocks and shit? No, none of that kind of shit. But, yes, my feet were hurting. And I remember going to the bathroom, but if I'm walking on ground, on grass, with potholes and motherfucking uh, acorns and shit, nigga, I'm walking, and first of all, I'm very pigeon-toed. Let's be clear on that, okay? So a motherfucker has got some duck shit jumping off, okay? So when you already on one of these and you trying to keep all this right here, feet hurting, trying to, trying to watch out for all these motherfucking pine cones and shit, nigga, your gate going to probably be off. But no less, I'm also an actress. I also know how to get up in the, in the motherfucking character. Now, I see all these motherfuckers right here watching me. I see y'all motherfuckers is all sidelining and, and all this right here. Oh, aren't you whoop whoop and all this right here? So I'm already seeing all of this. Oh, that's such and such. And I'm this, that, 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 and all this. And I'm shaking hands. And I, we was having a good time. I'm not diffusing none of that, okay? But then when somebody walk up on me and tell me, oh, well, let me, you know, let me just tell you. I know your feet is hurting, but you don't want nobody to put that shit on alley that, you know what I'm saying, that, what? Anyway, <laughs> I'm happy. I'm doing some real cool shit. Had a very beautiful motherfucking weekend with my man. And I'm happy as fuck. Let me tell you something. Look. I did not know what it was like to be in the arms of a motherfucking full-grown motherfucking man that is so about his motherfucking baby. Baby. Listen, I don't want to be, that's why, you know, I, you know, the, the, the every day of uh, May, I had a good time. We're going to do that shit again, nonstop, November, all kind of motherfucking shit, because it was cool, too. But, you know, I also find myself, found myself talking about shit that I really probably shouldn't have been talking about, and, you know, and making another motherfucker feel a particular kind of way, okay? And when I say that, you know, I'm 100, never. You know, I don't want to make Kenny look like he was looking like, you know what I'm saying? But he made himself look like he would, like he was looking like because he didn't, I don't care. And I don't give a fuck what the, you know what I'm saying? He didn't care that, you know what I'm saying, the nigga was like on some click and lick and shit. You know what I mean? He didn't, he, he didn't give a fuck if y'all heard it or not. Now, I know y'all motherfuckers was like, wait a minute, is they just playing or is this real shit or what is this? 
it was baby, it was it was just as raw as it was as I, you know, I mean, what the fuck can I say? Man was in his feelings. So the last couple of weeks, I've been kind of out of the way because I know motherfuckers can snap, okay? Now, I'm walking around this motherfucker with earphones on singing amen and shit. You know what I mean? And I'm knowing that, you know, you you came by, but yet and still, I'm in a mood that you didn't help bring on. Um, nigga, after a while, motherfucker might snap and be like, bitch, look, check this out. Nigga, you too motherfucking happy, and I ain't liking it. You know what I mean? So, I'm mindful of all that motherfucking shit, okay? Dog, I'm, I'm, I'm very smart, okay? I'm very smart. I just, I just cuss a little bit. Okay, I ain't no motherfucking dummy, no fool, no none of that old shit. No crash dummy, no space cadet, none of that motherfucking shit. Yeah. No stoner. Uh, well, <clears throat> I do like it. Excuse me. I like it, you know what I'm saying? Got my car. Perfect. Okay? But for the most part, I'm straight laced 100 nigga. You know what I mean? Little Harriet throwed in, little Hathar, you know what I'm saying, on the back end, little Cleo. You know what I'm saying? Got a little Josephine, little Mahalia, Mahalia on the back end. You know what I'm saying? Got a little That's My Mama. You know what I mean? Little Janet Twist in. You know? I'm all these motherfuckers all, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, baby. This is what you get. You know what I mean? Then you're going to throw some NWA shit on the back end. Compton Most Wanted shit on the back end. Shout out to my boy. Hey, hey baby. Aaron, what's up with you? But um, anyway, so bottom line is, you can't hurt my feelings, sweetheart. You can't hit me with this alley shit. You can't hit me with, you know, oh, y'all, look at her this and that. Look at her ass and this and this and this. You can't fuck up my self-esteem, sweetheart. I done been through too much motherfucking shit, okay? And when you look at my motherfucking resume, I got more winnings than deficits. So, you know, when you look at my columns, I'm, I'm winning. You know what I mean? So, really, on that shit, what, what, what we talking about? But I did have to come in and diffuse it because the thing is when, you know, people feel a particular kind of way, whether it's intimidation, hatred, whatever, or just motherfucking confusion, you know, they have a tendency to throw a little bullshit out there. So a lot of people that's feeling the same way that they feel can gravitate to and they have something to cling on to. So I had to diffuse that in my comment box because, you know, I don't want motherfuckers constantly hitting me up on my hip all day. You know, about the same bullshit. Oh, with your belt too high, your ass is this and this and this and this. And, you know, you good now, this, why you here right there. I don't want to hear all that bullshit. I mean, I, I got it. I, I, I'm i with it, okay? But like I said before, I'm really trying to get used to what I'm working with. I really am. I'm trying to get used to this motherfucking shit. I'm trying to find my natural way sometimes. Because sometimes I feel as though my waist is up here and it's too high. Like the other day when I had my belt on, my belt was too high. I felt like my waist was up here. But then like today, my waist feels like it's more here. I don't know. I'm going to get it right, but hell, fuck it. I ain't going to give up and I'm going to keep on going on with it. You know what I'm saying? As long as I ain't hurting nobody and fucking with nobody's feelings or ch taking the church's money. Nigga, I'm winning right now. My, ch my children are excelling and doing what the fuck they need to do. They ain't fucking with me, ain't bothered me, you know what I'm saying? There's no threats, no weapon for them to get us, uh, she'll prosper, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what the fuck else, you know what I mean? And then, too, once again, if it was you and you was in my position and in my stage in life, what the fuck would you be doing? It would be some motherfuckers out here giving our pussy by the pound, you know what I'm saying? Just can't uh, be responsible with the new chapter in their life. Me? I'm not out here doing it all like that. I got one motherfucker that I'm giving my shit to. And God damn it, this man is... Oh my God. <laughs> hey. Man, look. And it ain't about no motherfucking foolishness. And when, at the end of the day, when all you want me to do is wake the fuck up and you got me and you willing to love my children the way that I love them and you willing to share all that you have with little old me, you willing to put me motherfucking first, you willing to make love to my motherfucking ass relentlessly, you willing to give a fuck about my feelings and what the fuck I'm going through, you willing to nurture my growth and see it and push me past my motherfucking pain, Nigga, I love you, nigga. I love your six foot six motherfucking ass. 
okay? Shit, motherfucker picked me up like a little bitty motherfucking baby and swallowed my motherfucking ass. Swallowed up. I'm like, oh, shit, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? Booty off the ground, feet dangling, all that old type of shit, nigga, got me. You know what I mean? Nigga, I'm having fun right now. Allow me to enjoy this motherfucking chapter. It's highs and lows in this motherfucker. It's gonna be, I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm cognizant. I know what the fuck it is. You know what I mean? God give it and he take it away. And you get to certain places until you get all that you need from that and learn all that you need to learn and see and taste and all that. And then it's time to move on to something else. But then there's sometimes you'll get into something or meet something and that's actually where you're supposed to be. And when that is the case, then therefore, you know, the people don't go away, they stay. And man, I, all I'm asking that God is continue to bless my union, baby. Because, oh my God, I'm, I'm, I'm a place that I've never been before in my life. And, you know, I'm, I'm in the arms of strength, you know. And when you've had to be a lot of things and somebody tell you, you know, check this out. I'm your man and I got you. You ain't got to do all this motherfucking shit. Sit down some motherfucking wear. Be cute. Uh, can we uvu and FaceTime and, and, and tango and shit so I could just see you right now at work? While I'm at work, I just need to see you just to make sure you cool. You say that you fine, but I need to see your face though. You know what I'm saying? When a motherfucker is genuinely concerned about you, what, what you're going through and how you feeling and shit, nigga, I love you, nigga. Real shit. You know, so hell. Can I be tripping off of some bullshit, some trivial shit? Nigga, that's some bullshit. I'm moving on in this motherfucking life. I want you to do the same. Whatever you need from me, come get what you need when you need it, baby. But don't hate on my ski low. Don't hate on my tilt because, you know, I, you don't know what the fuck it took me to get to this place. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the days and the nights that I had to cry and I had to, you know, premeditate and write and... I had to pray and, 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 and conjure up and scheme and all kind of shit and lie and all kind Man, I had to do all kind of motherfucking shit to get to where the fuck I'm at right now. Nigga, but I made it though. And if God didn't see fit for me to have it, nigga, I wouldn't have it. Period. So, on that note, look, check this out. It ain't gonna be a far distance in between when I come in and I holler at y'all. I don't want it to be. But when I'm away from this platform, just know that I love you all the same, baby. But I got some shit going on that maybe I can't I can't discuss, don't want to, or some shit I got to diffuse and go through. I didn't want to put old boy out like that. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean to call him old boy because, you know, um, Kenny, you know, I love him. You know what I mean? I love him. I loved him for many a years. You know what I mean? But, you know, when I look back at it and I was like, damn, nigga, for real, you said that shit, nigga, give a fuck. You know what I mean? And it's like, you know, and I felt him, you know what I'm saying? It was a namaste moment. It was like, damn, you know, he really, you know, he really feeling it. He's really hurting, you know what I mean? And I didn't want to, you know, jack the nigga around and that make him really feel crazy or constantly get on this motherfucker when I know that he was here, you know, in his feelings where he just want to come over and just sit all day. You know, when he get off from work, just want to come in and just be in my presence, you know. And me coming on here, I know the motherfucker going to do something in the background to just inform you guys or to inform anybody that his presence is here and that he's here. You know, and then some bullshit subjected to fly out his mouth. So, you know, to keep from all that shit from going down, you know, and a lot of times a motherfucker is wanting a little something to elevate it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times motherfuckers is fishing and throwing a little bait out there for you to hook it in and, you know what I'm saying, now the argument is going and now the shit is haywire because the motherfuckers in their feelings. You got to know when to hold him and when to fold him. And I'm one of them ones, one of them ones that know. I know when to hold him and when to fold him. And when you done went too far and said too motherfucking much or done done too much, sometimes it's time to shut the fuck up, fall the fuck back, sit on the sidelines, and just watch this shit play the fuck out and let time take its toe. Let the energy have its way, you know. And uh, anyway, on that note, I'm gone, okay. I'm out of this motherfucker. I want to talk to my baby and get some air and shit circulating up in this motherfucker. It's 11.19 in the a.m. My son has to theoretically be work at 5 today. So, you know, he has to just go get his blood, I mean, uh, get his physical done before then. And there's no appointment. It's just an in and out of situation. So, 
um, after Wendy and shit go off, which is on right now, and therefore I'll dip and take that nigga on over there and go do all that right there. Go to AM, PM, run up on my favorite cold-ass drink, which is the Orange Whip with the Crunch Ice, 32 miles, run me mine, 99 cents holler. You know what I'm saying? 108 with taxes, know what you do with it. You know what I mean? And that's my everyday drink. I'm on that shit like I was on my sweet tea, dog. I'm on that shit. That's my shit. You understand me? And baby know it too. So he came and brought me a, um, a drink and shit. My ice was all half ass melted and shit, but I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? It was love behind it. Baby wanted to make sure I had that. So, you know, but uh, that's my shit. So, anyway, I'm going to get up out of, my, out of this one. And I just want to let you guys know that I love you. I'm not far away, baby. Hit me up on my motherfucking Instagrams and all that other shit when you can't hit me here when I'm not here. You know what I'm saying? Just know I'm not that far away. It's just the fact that I'm handling things and I'm trying to handle my business. You know what I'm saying? And so, anyway, I'm gone. I love you guys. Love you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Stay out this motherfucking heat because niggas is falling down at a rapid rate. This shit is laying niggas down. And, you know... <laughs> Like I was telling the kids, you know, they friends and shit can come over and go swimming and shit. I make some sandwiches, cut them motherfuckers in half the triangle way. You know what I'm saying? On that note, I'm gone. Wild man in full effect. Sweet tea. Motherfucking, uh, what else? I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a kid some motherfucking Minute Maid lemonade and shit. You know what I'm saying? Chicken salad. Tuna salad. You know what I'm saying? Cold cut combo with a little ham motherfucking, uh. Salami, you know what I mean? Turkey meat, some shit like that there. I'm gone, family. Love you guys. Bye. Holla at your partner. Gone.